There were plenty of skeptics back in 2010 when the Ford Fiesta reappeared on our shores. Americans don't want to buy small cars, they said, and they don't want to drive hatchbacks either. Well, those skeptics were wrong. A recent New York Metro media drive put a select group of riders into a fleet of 2014 Fiestas on a drive route from the Atlantic Highlands to the northern Jersey Shore mainland. The 2014 model year marks a significant refresh for the Fiesta, with two new powertrain options and a restyled exterior. The corporate DNA 4 grille and sleek headlamps put a welcome face on the little Fiesta, echoing the Focus Infusion. While we did not have the opportunity to drive the new 1.0-liter 3-cylinder and 1.6-liter 4-cylinder turbos, the naturally aspirated 1.6-liter fleet featured both 5-speed manual and 6-speed power shift configurations. The power shift dual clutch transmission has been tweaked with anti-shuffle control and feels significantly smoother than its predecessor. Select shift provides manual control over gear changes through a thumb button. No slapstick, no paddles. Although the legacy 1.6 liter is thrifty, with the Fiesta SE SFE rated at 41 highway, the engine needs to be wound out to get to the fun zone. Ride, handling and cabin comfort are strong points. Ford has improved sound dampening for a quieter ride and the Fiesta feels large in a good way. A pair of Honda Fits were provided as comparison at the midpoint of the drive, with the Fiesta trumping the fit on interior design, materials, and tech features, including My4 Touch on an integrated 6.5 inch touchscreen and an 8 speaker Sony audio system. Ford touts that the Fiesta is the number one choice of first time new car buyers. Over 68,000 Fiestas were sold in the 2011 model year, a large portion of which were hatchbacks, while sales dropped to under 57,000 Fiestas in the 2012 model year with the introduction of the new Focus, they bounced back to the first half of 2013. The new 2014s look to bring a significant and literal boost. We look forward to testing the new 3-cylinder turbo and Fiesta ST in the coming months.